Okay guys, so this is like what, the 12th time I tried to do this video? Because at first I started recording with my iPod last night, but people kept walking in during the video, so I had to keep redoing it. So I just recorded it with my laptop, and I said hopefully this video goes right. And no surprise, my mom walked in during it, so 12th time I'm doing this, very annoying. And if you're new to my channel, you might think, well, these are my new Schleich I got. No, these are actually Schleich I've had for a while. Um, but you'll see why in a minute. I have these out. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I suggest you watch my other two Schleich videos. Because I have over 50 Schleich. Maybe a little over 60 now. Um... And I'm also doing a barn tour soon, and my last video before this was my massive update video, because I did feature a lot of new ones I got, so. Uh, you should go watch that. Uh, if my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm getting kind of sick. But my voice is kind of, like, louder now, because I've been <laughs> repeating this video so many times. Um, so... You should watch this video after you watch my barn tour. Because I'm showing my new schleich I got in this video. Except for one. Which, that one animal I am not showing in this video is in my barn tour video. So in the comments below, uh, please uh, write what kind of animal, like what breed of animal it is in the comments. I mean, I already know. I just want to see if you guys found out the mystery animal yet. So... Uh, if you watch my barn tour video, this is the stuff I used to make it. And, uh, hang on, let me go up and get Rusty, my nap stripper. Um, I've been making, like, blankets and, like, wraps for the horses. And today I'm going to be making halters. I'm very excited because I only have two riding sets, which are, like, $17 at my local store. And... Um, we're not allowed to go on eBay or anything, and so, like, I don't know, people say they go to Michael's to buy all their briars and schleich and stuff, well, Michael's from here is about, like, over a hundred miles away, so we go to two stores, we got Rule King and we got TSC, but TSC is about to close and they barely have any schleich. And TSC used to sell riding sets, so that's kind of dis disappointing, because I went there yesterday. And, well, two days ago. So yeah, that was kind of disappointing, because I was looking forward to getting a riding set. So, now that I know how to make halters, because uh, usually they come with a blanket, saddle, bridle, halter. So, don't know how to make a bridle and saddle yet. Because it seems complicated, but halters seem easy, so. And I'm going to be trying to make blankets for all the horses. So, uh, yeah, halters would go really good with the blankets. So, yeah, I'll be making those today. And I'll probably make a video today also showing you. Uh, sorry, I'm talking a lot in the beginning. I know it's annoying, but, yeah. Uh... So, we use wood glue, we have a bunch of popsicle sticks, got a bunch of fabric in here. Fabric is like, I don't know, $3 or $5 at Walmart, and you get a big sheet of it. And I got lots of string in here, because for my birthday, I got this friendship bracelet maker thing, and I'm horrible at like weaving them together so I just use the string to make like lead ropes and stuff for the halter so yeah because like I said I am horrible at making braids and stuff so yeah so these are not my new like as I probably already said uh so let's just take chieftain away for a minute and feedback these were my only cows before, and I recently, uh, you might be wondering, I don't know, maybe, you would be wondering, I have 
two Holstein cows, why did, why the heck did I get a brown cow? Well, turns out I really love brown cows, and, um, so yeah, I just had to get some type of brown cow, so I got a calf. And so, two days ago, I got the adult version of it, which is really cute. There's only one scratch on it from when I bought it. It's the only scratch. It's on its nose, if you can see that. Uh, there's a huge scratch right above the nostril, which is kind of horrible, but... <laughs> so yeah, they look really cute together. I also wish they would make a male version of the brown cow. I think that would be really cool. So that way we have a Holstein family and a brown cow family. But, yeah. <laughs> Next that I got is the Holstein calf. I really like him. He's really cute. Um, I like him a lot because, well, there's a few things I don't like about him. Uh, there's no, well, there is a little scratch on his forehead. It was also not for me. It's just because TSC, like, I hate how little kids just go in the store and they let them scratch them up to death. And then nobody will buy them. Like, kids my age won't want to buy them because they have scratches all over them. All because they let kids just go in there and scratch them up, and they don't even buy them. Haven't they ever heard, you break it, you buy it? <laughs> so yeah, the mother cow, she has, like, black splotches on her. He only has, like, black spots. That's what I don't really like. <laughs> Well, I guess you can kind of see he looks more like his dad, I guess. Because you can see they have, like, a stripe on their nose, too. So, yeah, he's more like his dad because more white than black. So, yeah, those are my cows. And I also got a bull. I didn't get him at the same time as those two. I got him before them. Um... You'll probably see him in my barn tour. He's really nice. He only has one scratch, but it's not really noticeable. I don't think a lot of people would notice that. But he is really cool and handsome. He's even got a ring around his nose. That's cool. And what I really like is in the sunlight, you can kind of see like shades of brown in him, which looks really nice. Like the Frisian. Uh... Um, in my barn tour, I think I mentioned, like, um, well, my male Frisian got chewed up by my cousin's dog, and so did my Siberian Husky Shasta. I know. It's sad. And I still have videos of him, because I made a dog series, like, the Survivor dog series of him. So I can see what he looks like before he got destroyed. I mean, the Frisian, he didn't even have front legs or a face anymore. It was, I literally cried all day. You can just go ask my mom <laughs> because he was there. And so, yeah, that was really sad. And plus, it just had to be a Frisian, you know, because the Frisian is my favorite horse. And it was the male one, too. And the male looks more like a Frisian than the female, but... You know. So, next we have, uh, let me just move these cows. Um, so we've got the Clydesdale male chieftain that I've had for a long time. And I just got the Clydesdale full, well, colt. I'm just gonna say it's a colt. And he is really cute. I just don't think they look good together. I mean, that's how Clydesdales look when they're fools, and that's how they look like when they're adult. But, like, I don't think they look good together, honestly. I don't know why. I just think they don't. So, uh, that's another new one I got. And this next one is not, like, an animal. It's more like a thing. The Rabbit Hutch! And whenever I see, like, barn tours, I never see anybody have a bunny hutch made by Schleich. Like, they usually make up their, they make their own out of popsicle sticks. But this is really cool. 
I just wish it came with more fencing because look. That's all they get. <laughs> um, so it's really cool because it opens up on the sides, on each side, and you unlatch it, and you can open up the doors, and right here, my new ones don't have names yet, but that's one of the bunnies that came with it. Oh, the slider came out. Yeah, there's a little divider in the middle. I guess you can take it on and off, apparently. So, yeah. Um, this is a bunny that came with it. He doesn't have a name either. And this was a bunny I bought before the bunny hutch. That's Thumper. I used to put him in that cage, which also got chewed up. Yeah, and, uh, in my last video, well, not my last video, but the one where I showed my slight collection of 2013, uh, I forgot their username, sorry, but, uh, someone said, oh, I have that same cage, too. But that's the only person who I know that actually has this cage. It's not Schleich, but it works good for Schleich. I mean, I can fit the Schleich tiger in it and stuff. So, as you can see, the bars got kind of bent up and chewed, which is kind of bad. Uh, by the way, her dog is a pit bull. Go cat. Sorry, I had to let my cat out. Um. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so that I guess would conclude my newest like. Um. Uh, if you're new to my channel and this is the first like video you've seen of me, let me just do like a. I don't know if you can see, but like, I don't know, I'll show you all my flake that I have. And then over here is my barn, it just isn't like set up. So yeah! Ouch! See you guys later! And please subscribe if uh, you like the video, and like if you like the video, and comment the mystery animal. I will be making the barn tour video after this, and so yeah, see ya.